Hi, welcome back. Good to see you again. In continuation with the early message, how to make things happen is to understand that message of the Sat, Chit, Ananda. Think, in our life, we have three things. Awakened state, sleep state, and deep sleep state. And then again, awaken, sleep, deep sleep. Have you realized ever? There are only three states that we have. Or we can sit, we do things, work, chores, learn. Sleep state and deep sleep state. But look carefully. Let's say I'm in the dream state of the sleep state, in the dream. I suddenly see very lovely two chocolate cookie. I want to eat them. And I eat them also. I'm eating them in my dream. And when I wake up, they don't exist. So what did Vedanta is saying? That awakened state, the deep sleep state, and the dream state or sleep state are all not real. It appears to be so. What is real? Existence, consciousness. So the entire universe is permeated with the consciousness. Anything that you can think of is consciousness. Vedanta is telling it is. Like I just said, this is a computer. Existence, computer. Existence, me. And bliss, ananda. Sat, existence, is truth. Remember, India's Ashok Stamba, Satya Meva Jayate, Manakya Upanishad. Truth shall always win. That truth is existence, consciousness. The moment you realize this is bliss, is ananda. So what happens with this? Then self and not self is not there. There is only one. Sat, Chit, Ananda is one. Only one. In Vedanta, it is called Brahman. Another name you may call Ishvara, God, Allah, in any name, any form. Krishna, Divine Mother, Kali, Durga, Vaishnavata, Jesus Christ, any name, any form. But they're all one. Sat Chit Ananda. Today, consciousness in the last about 20, 24 years has taken a big toll in the so called intellectual philosophers spiritual leaders, scientists, neuroscientists, neurological. Yesterday only I was talking to a neurophysician and he was talking about consciousness, dream state and deep sleep state of the awakened state. David Chalmers has come out with this beautiful call Heart Facts of Consciousness. This planting the seed, the moment you become aware that this consciousness, which is everywhere, like the fish in the ocean, fish doesn't know the existence of water. So what is it? It is living in the water, absolutely unconscious of the water. Take them out of the water, they die, not existence anymore, meaning they will die. Same thing is with you and me. We are in the existence and the consciousness, but like the fish in the water, we are not aware. But what meant you become conscious of the consciousness? You are aware. Now, all you have to do is plant the seed. Of what? What we started today. So, like in the childhood when I used to read about Aladdin's Wonderland, 
and the Aladdin's lamp. Then all you have to do is just rub it and a genie will come and say, tell me your master order, I'll grant it to you instantly. And we all love to read that. We all wished, I used to wish that I wish I could get an Aladdin Wonderland. But we, as we grew up, we knew it's a story. We thought it to be a story. What the ancient masters talked about, what you and I understanding today, all you have to do, plant the seed with your thought, with your prayers. That seed goes into the consciousness, into the womb of the universe for it to make it happen. How should we do that? Shravanam, Mananam, Nididhyasana. Very simple three stage. So there is a devotee comes to Guru and says, Gurudev, I've been here for so long with you. You told me to do Shravanam, Maranam, Nididhyasanam. I'm doing it. Nothing is happening. My mind is like a honest nest. Like a tornado. I want to be peaceful and make things happen. So the Guru says, Practice Shravanam, Maranam, Nididhyasanam. So the disciple said, Sir, I've been doing it. Nothing is happening. 33 years. Don't get disappointed with this 33 years. <laughs> All you have to do is to understand what Gurudev said. Better luck next time. Meaning there is no other way. So why is it that some people have got everything that they want? Only one important factor in this is that 32, 33 years Bhakta did not believe, did not have faith in his own listening, Shravanam or reading, which is also listening to great masters books or message. Manana, reflect and Nididhyasana, meditate. At the moment in the meditation, your mind is silent and peaceful and blissful. Plant the seed and then forget about it. Like you plant a seed in a prepared soil, which has got manure, which has got water, which has got sunshine. You plant the seed, it will happen. The more of it on my next session. You have a beautiful day. Welcome once again back to sessions on Vedanta. Let's share what the world holds for us. The entire universe is waiting.